in kindergarten. Anyway, um, so I'm truly excited to have this man. I like to call him Papa Davis. Um, Rodney Davis is a was the president of Pride for 20 Rodney Pride for 20 years. Um, he is a mentor to me and has been a mentor to many others in the community. Uh, very respected. I'm truly thankful to have him today. Uh, he came in and I asked him to uh, speak. But following Rodney, we will have Randy Andy. And let me give you a little bit about Randy. Randy is Rhode Island's own coffee milk swingling, swilling prodigy, prodigal son. Performer, producer, mentor, teacher, House of Randy founder. He is here, he is here this prize season to profess his reluctantly acknowledged adoration for the Calamari comeback state. I should. You can see Randy Andy in his Kings perform at Ask You PVD, uh, PVD Saturday evening, June 19th, Pride Party. Uh, Pride Party. Uh, so without further ado, before Randy comes up, Rodney, then Randy, and then we marching out. All right? Got it? Yep. All right. I'm going to be real quick here because I think it's really important that all of us remember where we came from. Woo! 45 years ago, where that black, all black lives matter mural is being produced and co-facilitated by two queer people of color is an intersection. That is where they marched 45 years ago. My God. And why I say that is because we always remember our first pride. My first pride was a long time ago. The theme was take pride. It was 30 years ago. Pride was a lot different back then. But yet the intersection of our worlds are important. There is a significance that we are meeting and gathering at the same week of the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa massacre. The, one of the worst things that's ever happened to black people in this country, where bombs were dropped on us because we were hated. Now, if you think about it, Juneteenth is about freedom. That took place in 1865. 56 years later, they destroyed black, Tulsa Black, the, the Black Wall Street. 56 years ago, 56 years ago today, this year, the Voting Rights Act was made law. And what are they doing right now? They're burning it down. If we do not see the intersection of our fight, we will lose. And so, pride is much more than an event. If this is the only thing we did for pride, I'd be happy. Because pride is about our lives. And pride is not limited to just this month. I was asked by the Providence Journal, what if you can't have pride in June? And I'm like, why are we limited to one month? You'd like to keep the blacks all in, in February. You know, pride is about how we live our lives, how we share our stories, and the importance of being authentic to who we are. So as we celebrate this year, celebrate pride, and have a happy Pride 365.